Dr. McKnight. Wave your hand. All right. Thank you. Just go switch it over there.
I'm going to say amen. Somebody ought to say praise the Lord. Hey, Come on, Lord. you ought to be better than that. Say praise the Lord. The Lord has seen you through another 12 months. This is the final day of the year of 2023 of our Lord and our Savior. We started it off together and he has allowed us to complete it together. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 And we want to begin. I don't want to do anything unless we begin uh, with prayer. We don't do anything in our culture unless we first touch basis with the Lord our God, amen? amen, as his permission that we can be in these services together. Yes, sir. And then today is Women's Day. Today is the fifth Sunday. Today is the fifth Sunday. And even though it's the last Sunday in the month, we're going to honor Women's Day. Amen. Amen. They have put in so much effort this year in all of the years of our humanity. And so we're going to honor women on this Women's Day. And we're going to begin with our opening invocation. And Sister Anderson, Sister Cynthia Anderson, going to come and share with us our invocation. We are somewhat really unorthodox here at the Rock of Truth Baptist Church, and we're going to do something that hopefully it doesn't upset anyone that much. We're not going to continue to switch our cameras over here to that podium. We're going to invite our speakers and singers to come and share from this podium. Can we say amen? Amen. We want everyone in Germany to be able to see amen. on our program. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, amen. With all heads and prayers. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come to you this day with Thanksgiving in our hearts. And we, we, we just thank you for this year, Lord. This is the last day this year, and you have brought us here to praise and worship your, your holy name. Lord, I pray that um, 
that during this year we'd be more prayerful mm -hmm. and 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 just send your word on a daily basis, yeah. Lord. Help us that we may strengthen our minds. Yes, yes. Our lives through your word. But we know that your word is, is the word. Yo. Lord, I pray for um, our families. May we continue to be blessed this year as we yeah. well as last year. Lord, I know this is the last day, but you have granted us so many blessings, yeah. Lord. I pray for our families. That we may keep the love that we have, our church yeah. family. I pray for the children of the world, Lord, yeah. that their mm -hmm. minds not be tainted by all the evilness that's yes. around them. Yes. Yes. That yes. they will not harden their hearts, but stay receptive to the angels that you send to, yes. to protect them, Lord. Yeah. Heavenly Father, as we go through this day, um, please touch our speaker mm -hmm. so that we may be touched. Yeah. In your word, which is which is true, Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Speak praise the Lord. Come on, I want to tonight so she's going to read our 23rd and our 150th member of the songs. Amen. Someone say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, that she has that true vision. And I'm going to find it right here in large print, thank just in case. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord, for being here. Thank you, Lord, for being on your program. Yes, sir. The Lord is my shepherd. Yes, sir. Ooh, yes, he is. I shall not. I shall not. He makes it lie down. Yeah. Yes, sir. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Yes, sir. He restoreth my soul. Yes, he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for yes, his things. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Though I walk through the valley of shadow, oh, I will speak. Oh, no, yeah. for thou art with me. Yeah. Thou rod and thy stand. They comfort me. Amen. Thy prepare the table. For yes, me sir. in the presence of my enemies. Thou yes, know me from here with all. Yes, sir. My cut. Nearly did. She followed me along the days of honor. Yes, and I shall dwell yes, in the house of the Lord. Forever. <laughs> now, Psalm is 150. The last songs in, in the song. Sing forever. <laughs> <Thank you. clears throat> Praise be the Lord. Praise, Praise him. him. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him. Praise him in the permanent power. Praise. Praise him. Praise him according to his. Excellent. Praise. Oh, praise him. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him. Praise him with the Praise him. Praise him with the And dance. Praise him with the instruments and organs. Praise him with the loud symbol. Praise him with the high sounding symbol. Let everything be Oh, 
I thought I just take off the video. Talk about uh, Kwanzaa just for a moment. We haven't done that, but this is the last year we will not do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. This is the last year that we will not do that. This one is all. Oh, Got a feedback. Yeah. But what we are going to do, we used to, and we're going back to it today. We're going to bring the New Year's in right when uh, Sister Johnson comes to read our affirmation on page seven. Those who can't stand, I want you to stand. And right there in the shaded area, actually, we want to begin, we want to begin, we want to begin to where it says, um, on the first one, we want to begin with mighty God presence. And then for Monday, we want to say together today, Monday, statement of truth, second day, and we'll follow that. But Sister Johnson is going to come and be our lead reader. Come on. And she's going to tell us how to put some energy into this thing. Right on up here. Amen. So we don't have to keep moving the camera. Hallelujah. Well, we can say good morning right Good morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Good morning. Yes. And yes. all of you mothers, I want to tell you thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you for the nine months you carried your baby. Yes. I want to tell you that you are amazing. Yes. yes. You are wonderful. Yeah. You are gracious. Yeah. And God blessed you to be the one to bring your children 
into the world. Hallelujah. Women, you are powerful. Yes. yes. Women, you are the ones who lead because you guide your children into Thank you. where they need to go. Yeah. And I'm asking that you bless us by bringing yourself Thank and your you. children to yes. our wonderful head here. Yes. Here at Rocket Tree, yes, sir. we're full of mighty women. Yeah. Women yes. who are full of love, grace, and power. In power. And power in the love that we give to everyone who conducts our door. Yes, yes. Sir. So please come and join us. Amen. Amen. Join us today. Mighty God presence. Yeah. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be By the devil and the temper came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, these stones become bread. Yeah. But he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live, not by bread alone, but on every word he sees out of the mouth of God. Matthew 4 and 4. My mighty God. God. Dear, Dear God, God, your words are who which reference the spirit. Amen. Amen. Today, Today Monday, statement of truth. Second day. Monday, Monday. 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 Today is Wednesday, statement of truth, fourth day, mighty God presence. Dear God, we have the Jesus name. What are you now? That there is a lot of people. Amen. Today is Thursday, statement of truth, fifth day.
There is an all within this Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm glad you are mighty, mighty to be in the church. We have been having last Sunday, charge it to my head, not my heart, but we have our Kwanzaa display. And as an African American people, all people, all people have cultural holidays. Brother Rodney and Brother Ron Karinga in 1966 gave us Kwanzaa. Yeah. And Brother Karinga did it nationally. Don't know, Brother Rodney, if you remember. Oh, I'm trying to think of her name. Sister. McKenna. Sister Harriet Smith was her name. In this area, in this area, in this area, probably in California, she organized the first ones of celebration in 1967, right there next to Merritt College when it was on Martin Luther King Way. Uh, Sister Sophia had that red, black, and green house on the corner. <laughs> Oh, I mean, she was culturally enriched, painted her house red, black, and green. And we had our Kwanzaa celebration there. And we have been celebrating it. Gradually, it went all around the country. But I know that we started, that was born, I believe, in 66. 
But the first one I attended was in 1967. And it's during the holiday that family and community organize activities around the seven principles of ones. Yeah. And here we have a display. It's about families. Yeah. It's about the strength of our community. It's about honoring and recognizing our elders. It's about our harvest. All of the things that give bring people together in a sense of strength and unity. Yeah. And so I want you to get ready for next year. Yes. Uh, we're going to light the candles as we have been doing in all of the other years. And we're going back to our roots again. And I'm so glad to represent today my good friend, Lou Kelly. Our daughter gave me this shirt. It says Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what we want to be mindful of. If you do not have that sense of identity, that sense of I am this, mm -hmm. nothing yes. else really matters. Yes. It, it, if a tree is not rooted, it won't last very long. It shall wither away. If you take a redwood tree and bring it here to open and plant it, just cut it off from its roots and just plant it deeply in the soil, the richest soil, that tall redwood tree that towers so beautifully will wither and die because it has been shivered from its roots. If you're going to transplant it, you have to bring roots and all. And when we came here as a people, we brought our roots, our history, and our culture with us. Yes. And we have to celebrate occasions that remind us of who we are as a people and teach it to our children and the next generation. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Can you say amen? Yeah. amen? Sister Jewel, are you with us today? Yes, Dr. McKnight, I'm here. All right. Will you share with us our announcement? Yes, I will. Thank you. Dr. McKnight. Mr. Jewel. Minister Lynch. Morning. Minister Johnson. Good morning. Sister McKnight. Bless you. Sister Johnson. Bless you, sister. And to the officers, members, and friends that make up this great congregation. Our announcements for this last Sunday, December the 31st, 2023. Monday hour of Power Bible Study with Minister Lynch is, of course, in recess this week. Wednesday hour of Power Bible Study with Minister Johnson will take place at 6 o'clock p.m. Wednesday. I believe the report of the Lord which says, Hallelujah, I am blessed. Yes, I, I am. I am favored. I am. I am prosperous. I am. I am healthy. I am. I am whole. I am. I am victorious. I am. I am because we are. And because we are, therefore, I, I am. am. I am. Man. Be still and listen. When we become still enough to listen, God speaks to us as constructive and affirmative thoughts, dynamic ideas, divine guidance, and creative inspiration. Man does not live by bread alone, no, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. 
Yes, sir. The divine ideas of which we are speaking are our spiritual food. Mm -hmm. And they are received in the mind, which is the mouth of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Yes, Philippians 2 and 5. It is critically important to turn off the noise, confusion, and outer clamor long enough to listen. Yes, sir. Then a great and powerful wind, but the Lord was not in the wind. Mm. There was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. There was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. No, sir. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, 1 Kings 19, 11 through 13. It is during these quiet periods that the real work takes place. Be still and know that I am God. Oh, Psalms 46 and 10. Everything in our world today is the out picture is the our picturing of an idea that was first conceived in the quiet of the mind. Yes. Yes. We are remembering in prayer all of our sick and shut in. Dear God, help me trust you. Consent to your healing and spend time in your word and in prayer. Yes, sir. Rescue me from my distress and from the ultimate fear. Oh, thank you. Thank you for caring about my life. Yes. And that I can be free from stress. Yes, sir. Pain, yes, sir. Anxiety. Yes, sir. Anguish. Yes, sir. Woe, yes, worry. Sir. Yes, sir. Weariness and sickness and sorrow. Uh, Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Hallelujah and amen. Amen. Yes. The word from today from Colossians 3, verses 1 and 2. If mm. you then have been raised up with Christ, Eat, keep seeking yeah. the things above. Where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Yes, sir. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things that are on earth. Amen. Hallelujah. And the meditation of encouragement, the things to which you give your attention, mm. you become. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And finally, our prayer of surrender. Dear God, I know that all things are possible to you. Mm. I know that you have created me as a divine, perfect spiritual being made in your image and likeness, which is perfect. Yes, yes it is. I now claim this perfection in body Body, mind and spirit. In spirit. I accept help. Yes, I do. I give thanks for it. Thank you. Thank you. And I accept the manifestation of healing, help, wellness, wholeness, and perfect well being in my spirit, soul, being, mind, and body. Yes. And thank you for your listening attention. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. We say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise. Oh, that can be. <laughs> If all things remember mm -hmm. that God is, God, God is, is. Right. 
Everything. 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 There is nothing that you ever thought you ever wanted uh -uh. that God already had. Come on. Woo! Come on. You better tell it. Now, I wanted to do this as a group. And I know y'all remember this song. And this is the words. God is my everything. Yes, sir. God is my everything. My everything. He's my joy. And sorrow. He's my hope for tomorrow. tomorrow. He's my rock in a weary land. land. Shelter in a time soon. God is. God is. God is. God is. God is. My everything. My everything. Now, if y'all want to join in, y'all do that. Sister. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. Don't yes, take away from me. No, but you can. <laughs> God is my everything. God, let's speed it up. God is my everything. God is my everything. God is my joy in the sorrow. He's my hope. He's my hope for tomorrow. He's my rock in a weary land. Shut up in a time storm. God is. God is. God is my Sorrow is my hope for tomorrow. He's my hope in a weary land. In the time of dawn, he's Sunday, we every Sunday, every fifth Sunday, we have a theme that is brought to us. Yeah. And this fifth Sunday, none other than our very own Sister Tina Hampton yes, is going to bring, she goes to other churches, bring themes and talking. So I say, if you can do it away from home, you can do it right <laughs> away. Put our hands together and welcome Sister Tina Hampton. Amen. Amen. Is he standing on the shoulders of Sister Tina? and ministers of Rocker Truth Church. My theme today is I am a Rebecca. Mm, come on now. Rebecca. Come on, yeah. come on. Teach you. And I will be 
starting from Genesis mm -hmm. 24 and 14. Okay. Genesis. It states, now let it be that this young woman to whom I say, please let down your pitcher mm -hmm. that I may drink. And she said, drink, and I will also give your camel a drink, and let it be the one who appointed who appoint to your servant, Isaac. And by this, I know that you have shown kindness to your master. Yeah. Now, let me introduce Rebecca, Tina, and any woman. Rebecca is pronounced Rika or Reba. Mm -hmm. In Hebrew, I was told that it means captivating, mm -hmm. secure, All right. yeah. to bind, yeah. to loot, or tie. Tina Marie means follower of Christ, mm -hmm. Look at you. majestic, mm -hmm. warlike, yeah. healthy, yeah. strong. Look at you. I can see myself in all these men. Come on now. Come on. Your name. Is your destiny, yeah. your heart desire, yeah. and your personality. Yeah. Now, in the woman of the Bible by Jean Sinwarda, Rebecca was a hard working woman mm -hmm. and generous. She was an initiator. Mm -hmm. Her faith was so great that she left her home forever to marry a man she had never seen. <laughs> Or met. That's right. She That's played That's favorites with her son and failed to trust God fully for the promise he had made. Mm -hmm. Her sorrow is that she was banned for 20 years mm -hmm. of her marriage life and that she never again set eyes on her favorite son Jacob after he fled from his brother Esau. Uh -huh. Her joy is that God had gone to extraordinary length to pursue her, to invite her to become part of the people and his problem. Yeah. yeah. Now let me tell you Rebecca's story. Tell it, tell it, tell it. In Genesis mm -hmm. 24, 10 and 31. Okay. Now I will state the verses because I don't want you to take my word for it. Uh -huh. I want you to read it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll state it again in Genesis 24, 10 to 31. The sun was dripping beyond the withers room of the sky as Rebecca approached the well outside the town of North, 500 miles northeast of Canaan. Rebecca fetched fresh water each evening and she raised up the jug to her shoulder, welcoming a cool touch on her skin. As she turned to go, she saw this stranger talking to himself. And then he greeted her, asking for a drink. She could not, he could not help himself to speak to her. She was good looking. <laughs> oh, he offered, she offered to draw him and his candles. And so she was so strong. The pots using to carry the waters was large and heavy. It took a lot of water to satisfy camels. Mm. It was 10 camels that he, she had to feed. That's a lot. <laughs> he gave Rebecca a gold bracelet, a gold nose ring. Would you believe this wow. man even started asking her about herself and who her father was? Come on now. He asked her if she, he could stay with them. She told him that they had enough room. I, I am a strong black woman. Yeah, yeah. Emotionally and physically. Come on now. Come as on. many of us are. Yeah. I also love my jewelry and I wear it well. Yeah. yeah. I lend a helping hand to those who are in need. Yeah. I am a Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah tell me. In Genesis 24. 26 to 49. The next thing Rebecca knew, this man bowed down his head and started praying. He was so happy. Yeah. She ran home and told her family everything that happened and showed them her jury. Her brother 
Laban went to the man and told him and his men and his camels could stay with them. His part, his family had a big heart. Yeah. This man started telling them his name and who he worked for and how wealthy this person was. This man was Elishar. He started telling her family why he came, what happened at the well, in detail. <laughs> to her surprise, he came for her. Yeah. He had so much stuff for her family. I come from a generation of God fearing people. Come on out. Who will lend a helping hand yeah. to the family, friends, and strangers. Yes, sir. Come on now. We are there for each other. I am a Rebecca. Come on now. In Genesis 24 51 to 65. Oh, you better tell it. Rebecca family agreed to the marriage, and her brother wanted her to stay home with them a little while longer. But Eleazar told them he must return right away. So she left her family and traveled a long distance with a stranger to meet a man she did not know to spend the rest of her life with. Her family gave her servants and a nurse. Wow. Everything happened so fast. Yeah. Now, they were at their destination. And she sees this man, and he looks good. <laughs> so she asked who he is. He said, this is your future husband. She covered her face with her veil. Eleazar, the servant, told Isaac everything that happened and that she was going to be his wife. <laughs> they got married. This mom had passed before they got married. One day, her husband was feeling so down. He was thinking about his mom, and she was there for him. Mm. She gave him passion. Amen. Amen. My loyalty is to my mm. and my family. Yeah. When I see that my husband is hurt and down, yeah. I give him my ears yeah. so I can listen to yeah. him. Yeah. I give him my shoulder so he can cry. Yeah. Give him my to hold him and lift him up. Nineteen to twenty-one. Rebecca had this wonderful husband who loves her. Mm -hmm. He is wealthy and powerful. Come on. They have been married for twenty years. And they were good 20 years. Yeah. It is 20 years and she could not get pregnant. Uh -oh. She talked to her husband about it. And because she was upset, the good and faithful man that he he had prayed for her, God heard his prayer yeah. and she conceived. Mm. Whenever I'm in trouble mm. and I'm worried, I know that I can go and talk to my husband, mm -hmm. who is a God-fearing man. Yes, sir. And I know he will pray for me. Amen. I am a Rebecca. Amen. 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 In Genesis 25, 21 to 34, mm -hmm. Rebecca had a tough pregnancy. I mean tough. <laughs> she was carrying a set of twins, and they were bad. <laughs> Yeah. These figs had her so uncomfortable, she had to go to the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. The Lord told her that she had two nations struggling inside of her. Teach right. the word. Teach the word. She said that the elder would serve the younger. Mm -hmm. The first twin delivered was Harry also, and they named him Esau. Uh -huh. Harry. Mm -hmm. The second child right. hold on to his brother's heel mm -hmm. and they named him Jacob. Mm -hmm. Heel holder. <laughs> <laughs> they had a set of twins who were as different as night and day. Well. In every way. Esau liked to be outside mm -hmm. and hunt. Jacob liked to be inside and cook. Yeah. 
Isaac and Rebecca did not help the situation at all. all right. They had their favorite. Well, Come on now. And it showed. Well, Come on. Isaac's favorite, Esau, and Rebecca was Jacob. Yeah. One day, Esau, the older son, was so hungry that he asked his younger twin, Jacob, could he have a bowl of stew? Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau did. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Boy. God is my source. Mm -hmm. He knows all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Philippians 4 and 6. Be anxious for nothing, yeah. but in everything. Yeah. By prayer and supplication. Yeah. With thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. I always go to God when I'm in trouble. Yeah, I am a Rebecca. Yes, yes. Yeah. In Genesis 26, 1 to 33. Yeah, the word. Isaac and Rebecca dwell in the rock. Yeah. And the man of the place asked him about her. Yeah. He told them that she was his sister. <laughs> and she went along with it. Both of them believed that if her husband said that she was his wife, that he would that they would kill him. She was beautiful. Everything was going on okay until one day of Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out of his window and saw Isaac and Rebekah together. Abimelech and Isaac met and had a conversation with each other. Abimelech and all his people would not harm them. God was watching over them. Yeah. No harm came to them. And God blessed them with so much land and animals. Come on now. Whenever my husband and I have a problem, whether it's physical or financial, we talk to each other mm -hmm. and we pray to God. Yeah. God's always see us through whatever I Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes he even gives us more than we ask for in me. God is good. And I'm Abraham. In Genesis 26, 34 and 35, their oldest son, Esau, is 40 years old and he decides he wants to get married. No problem. He's old enough. This man decides to marry Judith, the daughter of Barry, the Hittite. Out of this, out of all the beautiful women in their tribe, he marries a heathen woman <laughs> to their tribe. Rebecca and Isaac were so upset at him. Every day, every day I pray for my children. Yeah. Yeah. And I ask God to protect them and guide them. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes my children do something that is just so crazy. <laughs> I say, oh my Lord, why would you do something like that? Are you my child? <laughs> Come on now. I am a rebellion. That's right. In Genesis 27, 1 to 29, yeah. Rebecca's husband Isaac is getting older. His eyes is getting weak. Uh huh. And he can hardly see. He's about 20 years older than her. And that wasn't a problem. The problem was when he heard him say to his son Esau about the blessing that he wanted him to have. She came up with this plan I tell to it. use Jacob to trick Isaac. Jacob did not want to go along with this plan. She convinced him to go along with the plan. She told him that if it did not work, she would take the blame for it. She told him to dress as his brother did and bring the food that she had prepared yeah. so that the father would give him the blessing 
of the firstborn, he did exactly what she told him to do. And the plan worked. worked her. <laughs> when I know in my heart that my child deserved this and need this, as a mother, I do what I have to do to make sure that my child and Genesis 27, 30 to 42. Later, Esau came back to the father with food, expected his blessing. His father asked him, who are you? He said, I ate and gave a blessing. Isaac told Esau everything that happened while he was gone. Esau was so mad, he started crying. I mean, he was crying. Mm -hmm. His oldest, her oldest son was so mad at the youngest son that he wanted to kill him. Oh, oh. Rebecca was told that Esau said that as soon as my father died, he will kill Jacob. He was that mad. Wow. Genesis 27. 42 to 46, and in Genesis 28, 1 to 5, Rebecca came up with another plan. <laughs> Everything got out of hand. She called her youngest son, Jacob, and told him that his brother is going to kill him. She told him to calm down and to listen to her voice and to do what she said. Mm -hmm. She told him to go to her brother's house and stay there for a few days until Esau calmed down. She could not bear to lose two sons in one day. And she decided to send Jacob to the panorama away from Esau to get a wife. Mm -hmm. I listen to God. I really do. I really do listen to God. Sometimes I take matters in my own hands well, well, because I think I can do it by myself. <laughs> and because of my actions, mm -hmm. I have to suffer the consequences. Yeah, yeah. 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 And forces to be reckoned with by Jewel Hampton is that it would be 20 years before Jacob returns home he and Esau would reconcile, oh. but his mother may have died before she returned, before he returned, because we do not hear anything of this darling woman who took matters in her own hand. For and the second matriarch of the people place is generated all Jews worldwide. Come on, come on. I am the daughter of the King of Kings and Lord of God. Yeah, my father died in the book. Needs all my wants. That's right. In John 14 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Yes, the reason that I know that because in Deuteronomy 14 and 10. Yes, and then yes. heaven in the highest heaven belongs to the Lord yes, your it God. Does. Yes, it is. Also, earth and all that's in it. Yeah. yeah. Everything belongs to my father. Everything. Right? Everything. One day I will die and I will be with my ancestors mm -hmm. who are proud, intelligent warriors, yeah. who yes. are beautiful and wise queens. Yes. One day, One day, I will see my father die face to face. Hey, 
That wasn't sermon supposed to be a sermon, but following proper protocol. If it was a sermon, the pastor or another minister is not supposed to get up and preach. Yes, sir. But I sure want to. <laughs> Oh, I, I just want to keep my leg. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. And we know that whatever you put your hands on him, yeah. you are. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. become. Yeah. Bible said, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. And he said to them, that they ask you in Exodus, tell them that I am, that I am, and sent you. Yes. And this shall be my memorial name to all generations. So always put something positive behind I am. Hallelujah. My body might be in pain, but I am great. <laughs> I am not my body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us prepare now for the giving and the receiving of our tithes and our offering. We are ending 2023. I want us to make a commitment for 2024 to do more, to be more, and to give more in 2024. Amen. 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 We want to do better in 2024. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. If you see what you can remember, we have a new greeter at the door. It's President Obama. Yeah. He greets you at the door, respect, and it says you are welcome. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Hancock? Yes. Are you going to do the honors? Yes. God is. And it is. By all, God is. God is. My God, my God, There's nothing too hard for me. Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead. Gracious Father, as we close out 2023, <laughs> we just want to say thank you for thank all you. that you have done, Lord. And as we begin 2024, yes. in a few yes. hours, we look forward to the greater things that you have Thank you. in store Thank for us. You. Lord, we ask that you will bless these offerings, that you will take them and use them for your work. We ask that you will bless each and every one who has a desire to give, those who did give, and those who plan on giving in 2024. Yes. We just want to thank you, Lord, for thank what you, you have done. Thank you. We want to thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Yeah. Amen. And we want to thank you, Lord, for what you will do. Oh, Lord. thank you. For we know all we have to do is ask yeah. and believe. You know, they say, ask, believe, and claim it. And that's what we're doing, Lord. Mm -hmm. We're asking, we're believing, and we're claiming. Yeah. And sometimes they say, and that sells it. Well, that sells it whether we believe that or not. Uh, if we ask God, he will do yes. what we ask yes, him to do. Thank you. So we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for friends, family, church family, extended family, and strangers that we haven't met yet. Yeah. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Rodney, Sister Kathy, we've been friends for so many years. I met Brother Rodney and Mary in 1966. And we became a disciple, Brother Rodney and Huey. And you're looking at a blessing from the Lord. I'm going to have him stand. I'm sure I hope the statue of limitation will out. <laughs> we were going down the telegraph. There's a place called the White House. Maybe since the 768. And a lady was struggling occasionally with a young sister. And we stopped because the police came. And it just naturally snatched the little sister and threw her in back anyway. And we crossed telegram and inquired them what did in the, you know, we made our inquiry. What did she do? Why are you treating her like this? Why aren't you arresting this woman? This is a child, that's an adult. And then we talked to the young girl, she was staying with her grandmother over on Park Street. And so Rodney said, where are you going to take it? He said, we're taking her downtown. He said, we're going to be coming to get her. <laughs> and we went and picked up her grandmother. We went to the police station right there on Broadway. <laughs> the Lord takes care yes, yeah. of babies and those who don't know anything. <laughs> Rodney had Stagger Lee. Yeah. Yes. Stagger Lee was a rewarded for a magnet for a bear. <laughs> you know, I had a three fifties on that. And that went in the police station packing. That's the thing. <laughs> And when you left with their child. Whoa, do it now. See how good God is. Huh? He's with you when you don't know he's with you. Not when we demand, this is her grandma. We didn't pull anything, but God knows we shot off from the mouth. And he, look, look at Stan Rodney. Rodney 
Exactly. He had to walk like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had a king. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Rodney, and I also want to share that we know that God is good. Rodney underwent two months ago major back surgery. No, hip surgery. Hip surgery. And look at him walking without a face. Let me see. You were happy with that man. I have remarks. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm here because, you know, uh, I told my guy, what we get ready to have, and he said, well, look here, God don't worry about you, you know, when they put you under, you know, no. Yeah. And we just had a dear friend uh, yeah. uh, that left us, you know, dear friend left us. Robert Calloway. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Robert said, well, look here, man, give yourself a, uh, like a reward, a target to look forward to to help you get through this. And it'll make it a little easier for you, you know. So I said, well, that sounds all right. Okay. So with that said, that's what I did. I said, well, you know what? I'm gonna make it a trip out of California to see my people and everything, like that there. And that helped me get through this whole, you know, uh little search because I just I didn't know. And uh hey, well, I'm glad to be here and we made it. And I'm looking forward to uh 2024, yeah, we yeah, And um, yeah, anytime you can wake up in the morning, your yeah. eyes open up, you can open your mouth, and you got your crackers, you know, that that's a real blessing right that's now. That's a blessing, son. That's it, you know, your friend of ours is no longer here. We're going to count on him being here. You know, I'm going to come out to California and see Callaway in the night. And, um, coming here, I, I might very well go back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We need it. Yeah. We need it. Yeah. 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 I, I enjoy it. I'm not going to have a school. As you advance in wisdom, you learn better. But I, I, I want to do I mind K through five. I'm not going over to a free. How about starting a charter school at Yeah, K through five. You could do a charter school, a private school. You have the ability and the people around you with the knowledge that you have and the goodness that you will bring to little ones, showing them a foundation of black history, of, of being a foundation of love and to let them know of God. Yeah. Having a private or a charter for K through five, is that an idea that can blame? Yeah, I can do K through five. We can do that. That's a foundation. We can do that, that Minister Lynch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be. 
because there is nothing else I want to thank everybody. I want to thank the ladies who are so lovely and red. This the fifth Sunday. I was just excited about it. Amen. 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 And uh, Sister Tina put in some hours in your preparation. Yes. yes, I preached from that scripture so many times. Be careful. Don't sell your heritage, yes. your birthright. Yes. Don't let anyone take away your birth. Amen. I don't know what that birthright. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so, um, since we are doing this, I'm going to ask Sister Tina to come and dismiss us with the prayer. Bless she you. brought us the message this morning, and then we will be on our way. Amen. 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 Father God, let each and every one of us give you the highest praise. Let each and every one know that you are the I am. Yes. yes. Let each and every one know that they are also an I am because we are all images of you. And my beautiful sisters, take pride in yourselves. Oh, yes. yes. And Lord, everything that comes out of our mouth, let it be pleasing to your heart. Everything that's in our heart, let it be pleasing to you. And I ask and pray that God guides you and protects you in your next destination. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me share with you, uh, thinking God, they let us all walk around and greet each other and shake hands. Well, next year is not promised, but we have it this year. Wish everyone a prosperous and powerful and peaceful new year. Yeah. And yeah. Sister McKnight right. has something for Sister Kathy oh. and Brother Ryan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Ella Johnson, if they are still on Zoom, ask Sister to take a picture of the decorations and the pastor's shirt and send them to me, please. This is Miss Priscilla 